Hello, it's me again. I'm Nafid Salawa. In this short video, I will show you how to configure the VSX dual control plane stacking on the CX switches. We will initially verify the link aggregation that we have previously configured. We will look how to set up the ISL link. Then we will look how to configure the VSX roles, primary and secondary role in each one of these switches. And we will verify the operation and lastly, do the VSX keep alive. Remember the VSX switches are, or the VSX um, dual control plane stacking is based on switches with models 8400, 8300 or 6400. Thank you very much and let's go and have a look. These are the two core switches. They are connected between them on interfaces 1 slash 1 slash 8, 1 slash 1 slash Nine. We can issue the command show the pinaba info. We're going to see these are connected, and your other switch is on the eight and nine interfaces, as you can clearly see. So these are connected; they can see each other. Also, we have configured a lag um, interface link aggregation. I can show you um, show interface brief. You can see lag 256, that's the link between the two switches. I can verify this one also by the command show LACB aggregate. We can see lag 256 has interfaces 8 and 9. They are connected between the two switches. And I can show, show LACB interfaces. We can see the output, it is up. So now we can proceed ahead um, and configure the VSX. Let's double check and verify. We will verify VSX status. Is that configured? We can see that clearly. So we're going to start the configuration of the VSX. It is recommended to um, enable MTU on the links between the two switches. So we're going to configure the MTU size to increase it to 9198. The options up to 9198 we're gonna go 9198 and we're gonna do the same on the other side and we can verify by show sure run current context we can see the MTU size has been increased in both of them. Secondly, we will specify the roles that each switch will play in the VSX, uh, with core one being the primary and with the core two being the secondary. So we are on the core one right now, and we will configure this one as, as the primary server or the primary switch in the VSX stack. You can type the command in, or we can just type VSX from here, and as uh, best practice we will also configure the system Mac so system Mac is one of the parameters that you will configure in the case of VSX so in this case we're going to just give it so that is going to be the system Mac ie the Mac address for the VSX stack when it comes to LACP communication with external switch and we're going to go and use the enter switch link. ISL will be lag 256. It says we have to have routing on that interface. So we're going to go interface lag 256. Exit. Interface lag 256. No routing. Go back to VSX. And we're going to use enter a switch link or ISL is lag 256. So, and then we will enable synchronization globally. VSX, so global, set, uh, global parameters like system MAC will be also synchronized automatically. That's on um, core one switch. 
we'll go back to the call to switch and we'll enable VSX and we will do enter first of all we will make sure that the interface lag 256 is layer 2 and then we will go VSX now we're going to say enter switch lag link enter switch link lag 256 we're going to say role secondary in this case so now the core one is primary, the core two is secondary, and the ISL, the inter switch link, is on the lag as best practice, and the lag name is 256, so the lag ID is 256. Let's verify the status. Let's look at the VSX on core one. Is initializing and out of sync. So we're gonna find out who is the peer and what the peer is doing. Is that the interface down or is it up? We might have forgotten to configure the role on the primary, so we're gonna go for this. We can show as troubleshooting show run current context. We have not or we forgot to configure the role. That's okay. So we're gonna say role primary. In sync operational and the system Mac was synchronized or communicated dynamically to the due to the fact that we have enabled VSX global synchronization. So should sure run that's the command that share the system Mac to the secondary switch. We can see or view the status of the VSX on the standby or on the secondary switch by issuing the same command, but I would like to view it on my VSX peer. It shows me the status on the peer by this command. I have added VSX peer. By having this, I can view it on the secondary. We would also like to configure the uh, keep alive. So we will now configure the keep alive uh, link, which is going to be on link one slash one slash seven from both of these um, switches. We can show run. We can show run interface one slash one slash seven. It's defaulted basically. If it is not defaulted, we can say default um, interface one slash one slash seven if need be. So now that's um, a layer three interface. And I would like to run an IP address on that, so they will be directly connected. In this case, Kiba Life doesn't have to be directly connected. We go interface one slash one slash seven IP address. We will give it in one nine two region one six eight dot zero dot zero, and this CX which is support thirty one slash thirty one on the links. So we can verify this one by sure run. Um, Show interface brief, interface brief. We can see interface seven is not enabled. So that's a default behavior. We're gonna enable that interface, interface seven, um, no shutdown in this case. We will now move to core two. We're gonna do the same. We're gonna say show run interface one slash one slash seven. Make sure that it is defaulted. And we're gonna go for config interface one slash one slash seven IP address one nine two one six eight dot zero dot one slash thirty one and um no shutdown now we should be, be able to ping the peer one nine two one six eight dot zero dot zero so they are able to reach each other so what we'd like to tell VSX, this is your keep alive link. We're going to go for that and we're going to go to VSX. I'm going to say keep alive peer. So this is on core one. We will give an IP for the peer, for the other one. And the source from here is going to be your local IP. 192.168.0.0 and you're going to do the same on the other switch basically so is the other way around on the other switch so we're going to go vsx keep alive peer 
will be 192.168.0.0 source locally from 192.168.0.1 so we can issue the command show we can issue the command show vsx brief we can see that the keep alive status or state is being established so this means the switches are now connected they are vsx stack and the keep alive is established notice in vsx is a dual control plane stacking it means the switches don't become a single switch um, so if you issue the command say into show interface brief you don't see two switches you only see you or yourself notice also the name has not changed nothing from the perspective of control plane everything is separate but when it comes to the when you form a link aggregation we're going to show in a different video how to form a link aggregation and how that works as a multi chassis lag or we call it VSX lag again we're going we're gonna to have a look VSX status we can see the VSX is NAE is reachable HTTP is all work fine everything in sync and everything seems to be working